Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Princess Plumbob and this is my build for the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Let's Play on my channel. Um, this will go into my Cats and Dogs playlist and if you haven't checked out part one and the Create a Sim already, you should for sure. I will link it in the description below for both of those videos. I tried to build, or tried my best to build, um, an English or New England style cottage. Um, like I said in the first part, not sure how it turned out, um, but I hope you guys like it. I also wanted to say real quick that um, <laughs> I am very new to this kind of thing. I This is my first ever speed build, so it might be a little iffy in certain areas. Like, I would pause the recording. Um, either, you know, to like get a glass of water or something, you know, whatever it was or taking a break, whatever. And I would, after pausing, forget to start recording again right away. So there are like some parts missing. It's barely anything though. Like it's really not that big of a deal, but I just wanted to let you know in case you guys did notice some parts missing, like earlier when I was putting in the windows, that was kind of missing. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm sorry about that. Like I said, first time, I'm very new to this. I'm still getting used to recording what I'm doing on the screen. So hopefully it turned out okay though. I, I feel like it did. Um, but here you can see I am working on the layout of the house. So I'm really, really weird when it comes to building. Um, I, I don't really know how to explain it. I'm kind of like a mess when I build. Um, kind of just very all over the place like I do the shelf first which is like a very normal thing to do and I, I do the outside usually you know like the wallpaper or not wallpaper like the siding and stuff on the outside just to kind of see like what vibe I'm going for um, but I then I work on the inside before doing the landscaping which I feel like is normal to do the layout before the landscaping but I actually start putting furniture in before I put landscaping in because I don't know I just find that easier um, I guess I just have very bad like spatial um, what would that be called spatial like orientation or what's it I know the word it's like right on the tip of my tongue whatever the like, I'm bad at knowing how big things are not so much in real life but in the sims I'm really bad at knowing how big things will be like the couch for example I wanted to get that in so that I can know where the living room was going to be because if I didn't get the couch in there I it ends up being way too small or way too big um, and that's kind of what I mean when I say I'm a bad builder like I'm just not good at um, layouts of houses mainly because I don't know sizes of certain things in the game so um, you'll see me being all over the place and I feel like a lot of builders on YouTube are very much like organized in the way that they build you know like they'll do one room at a time for example I am definitely not like that I try to do one room at a time like here I'm trying to work on this you know main like living and dining area um, but it's still like all over the place because I'll, I'll like think I got it done and then I'll you know see an object in game where I'm like oh that's really cute I want to use that or you know then I'll just go wherever so I'm really sorry if that makes it kind of hard to watch. Um, I'm, I've just got that crackhead energy with building, I guess. <laughs> um, so here I'm putting in some windows because I had only put in the windows on the front of the house and I put in the back deck there, which I will go and finish later, I think. Yeah, definitely a lot later. I think towards the end of the video when I do like the backyard um, is when I do the deck area. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put windows there or not. Uh, I was like, oh, I don't know, and then I realized the closet was right there, so I couldn't put windows anyways in there. Um, you also saw earlier, like, I was kind of all over the place when I found the, um, the vanity table or whatever. I found that and I was like, oh, I want to put that in. <laughs> and so I just plopped it into the room that I knew was going to be for the mom of the house. So, yeah, it's a mess, but I hope it's, like, bearable at least. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and apologize in advance because my dogs have been whining. They, um, I guess are sad that I left them. I went, I had to go into my room to record and nobody else is home right now. So they're whining that I shut them out. But if I shut them out or if I didn't shut them out of my room, they'd be crazy and totally distracting for the voiceover. So 
um, they're upstairs <laughs> and if you hear them whining I'm sorry but that is why <laughs> they don't like being alone which I feel bad but you know they've been spoiled recently because um, they haven't been alone like at all um, normally you know like if everybody's at school and work and stuff I'm at college so like we're all gone during the day um, but recently they've been home with people because my sisters were home um, because of COVID uh, what was it like last week or the week before and I've been home from school so they've been with people all day every day so I'm like you know what you can stay a couple hours by yourself not even a couple hours probably like one hour <laughs> anyways I am finishing up like the kitchen and dining room area right now I'm trying to find some curtains that go um, and I decided to incorporate yellow mainly because of that calendar <laughs> so that's why I switched the curtains to yellow um, I just thought it looked good with the blue um, and then I'm just trying to find some artwork to put on the walls here. I really actually am happy that I switched to the yellow. I think it looks really nice. I actually really love it. And then I ended up putting in a fireplace. I just thought that made it feel more cozy and homey. So there I am doing that. And I also wanted to put in a fish bowl because, you know, fish are pets, not really in this game, but um, they were in The Sims 3, you could feed them. I don't honestly remember if they were in The Sims 2 or not. Somebody let me know, I can't remember. Um, and then I am here decorating the mantle. Like I said in the first part, I really like the mantle area. I think it looks really cute. Um, and then I'm going through and getting some clutter for the kitchen. Oh, I also wanted to say, so I'm an idiot <laughs> and I went to build this house and I do have some build and buy custom content in my game, not a whole lot, but some items and I accidentally used a piece of custom content and I, for the life of me, when I uploaded this to the gallery, could not figure out what the custom content was. It's the ceiling fan in Valerie's bedroom. Wow, I could not believe I did that. I realized, what was it, yesterday when the update literally broke my game and I was trying to fix it, I realized that there was custom content in her bedroom. I thought it was the ceiling fan from Island Living, but it was actually the custom content. So I am going to take this house off of the gallery and then re-upload it so that it doesn't have any custom content anymore. I thought it was just because my Sims were on the lot and they have custom content. But no, I'm actually just really dumb. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can go ahead and download it and it will be custom content free after I'm done. Um, I apologize in advance if you saw it and actually probably a lot of you didn't see it because you know, you'd have to filter by custom content and apparently it has custom content. So I apologize for the inconvenience, but I will definitely re-upload it. Um, also, if you want to follow me on Origin or download this house, um, my Origin ID is Bailey 28 um, you can find me there. I don't have a lot of stuff up on the gallery right now because like I said, I do use some custom content for building, not a lot, but there are a certain like couple of items that I use. So some of my builds that I just do just for myself do have custom content. So, you know, I can't really upload them. Plus, I didn't really get into like uploading to the gallery until very, very recently because I was kind of embarrassed of my builds. I thought they were really bad and, you know, they're still not the best, but like I might as well just upload them just because, you know, just for the fun of it. Why not? Um, so, yeah, this will be up there once I get rid of all that custom content, all that custom content. I say it's I say that like there's 20 items and others oh, one, <laughs> but yeah, you'll see me put in that custom content ceiling fan. I almost used that custom content dog bed too and then I realized that was custom content. I downloaded it because I don't really like the pet beds for The Sims 4. I think they just look very uncomfy. Like they're so flat. They just look not comfortable at all for the pets. So I was like, you know what? They're fur babies. They deserve the best. So I downloaded them. The comfier looking ones from The Sims 3. Oh, also you saw me put those um, streamers on the door earlier in the children's bedroom. I actually really like that. It's technically like a seasonal craft or something, whatever you'd call it, like a summer craft, I think, that your kids can make. But I found it in the debug menu and I thought it was so, so cute. And that was kind of my basis for the color scheme. I wanted to do orange because there was orange on the, uh, on the streamers. There was also blue. I didn't really use much blue in this bedroom, but I really liked the orange and it, I think it might have some like yellow in it too. 
Um, so I went with this yellow for the kids room and I really really like the kids room honestly. I think it's so adorable. I could have used that like yellow orange toy box that would have matched Patrick's bed but I didn't. Um, I just thought you know this other like brown one looked more gender neutral I guess and it was for this room is for the both of them to share so I went ahead and went with that. I also really really love the bookshelf I put in here in that swatch. I think it's adorable. Um, and then here you see me putting some decorations into the room as well. Um, and oh yeah, I also decorated the uh, family bathroom really quickly. No big deal. You guys saw it if you watched the first part. It's just like that mint color scheme. Um, and then here I am going on to the outside of the house. I'm starting on the landscaping. I am not good at landscaping like at all. I think it turned out okay considering I'm not the best at it, but yeah, I, I'm i not very good. So for future reference, don't be expecting wonderful landscaping. I'm also just, I don't know why like I'm so bad at it. I just feel like I am like, I don't know. I also hate finding plants from the debug menu. I don't know why, it's just so tedious and you can't like copy them or what is that called, the eyedropper tool. You can't use those on the debug plants, so that really sucks because that's what I do a lot. <laughs> Just to get, you know, all the plants to, like look cohesive. Uh, but I didn't. I did end up using these uh, debug like vines that are growing up the wall. Um, the flower ones came from Get Together and the like more vine looking ones I think came from Discovery University. I could be wrong, but I think that's where they all came from. Um, yeah, and then I'm trying to find like bushes or ferns or whatever to go out front here too. And um, I just kind of try my best. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry if you don't like the landscaping. I think, like I said, I thought it turned out decent considering um, a lot of my landscaping tends to look a lot worse. But I do really like the um, like ivy stuff growing up the wall. I think that's really cute. I've always really liked that. I don't really know if it suits the style of house or not, but. I thought it was cute, so even if it doesn't, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> and then here I am just putting some landscaping over by the mailbox. And then I think I move on to the back, yeah, side and backyard um, to landscape that. I also um, am really bad at like backyards and stuff. I was thinking about making a patio, um, like kind of to the side of the deck area or the porch area, whatever you want to call it. But I just, I don't know, I just couldn't get it to look right, so I ended up just deleting it. Plus they don't have like the biggest yard anyway, so I didn't want to, you know, like put concrete everywhere. So I was just like, whatever, we'll just leave, we'll just, we'll just have it be on the porch, you know, the seating area on the porch. It's very small, but so is their family, so it's fine, it works, at least I think so. <laughs> um, I forget what else I was gonna say. I'm really bad at this, the voiceover thing. It's kind of awkward, like sitting here talking to yourself uh, when no one else is around and you're basically just narrating something you already did. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Anyways, I also get in a sandbox in here. Um, I thought that was really cute. Um, so hopefully the toddlers will like to play outside and they can play in their little sandbox. And I also put in um, that little, what is that called like building block table for toddlers i actually don't own the toddler stuff pack so i couldn't put in like a slide or anything for them but you know they have a little play area so it works it's fine <laughs> um and then here i am just putting some outside lights on the house and decorating the back porch as well and then this is what i was talking about where i was going to try to do a patio but i didn't think it would look good so i just deleted it and then here I am trying to find a table to match these stupid chairs. The only one that actually matches is the umbrella, but I, since I wasn't going to make a patio, I didn't want an umbrella table. I just wanted a normal table and it doesn't match perfectly, but I felt like it was close enough. And then this was also what I was talking about earlier when I said I'm all over the place with my builds. Now I'm going back and realizing that I forgot those two dog statue or two dog and cat statues that I was going to put in the bookshelf and just adding some extra decorations throughout um, because I kind of just remembered towards the end, like, you know, we probably have room for more decorations. Anyway, we are basically at the end of the video. So I hope you guys all enjoyed and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.